Have you ever wondered how underwater structures are built? Construction beneath the waves is a fascinating process, involving unique challenges and specialized techniques. So, how does it happen? First, every underwater construction project begins with a site survey and feasibility study. This is where engineers assess the underwater conditions, water depth, seabed composition, and environmental factors. They conduct a feasibility study to determine whether the project is viable or not. Next comes the preparation of the foundation. This is a crucial step as piles or caissons are used to anchor the structure to the seabed. These foundation elements are carefully positioned and secured to ensure stability. The third step involves the selection of materials. The materials chosen must be able to withstand corrosion and other environmental challenges. Common choices include reinforced concrete, steel, and specialized corrosion-resistant alloys. Coatings and protective measures are applied to enhance durability. The fourth step is prefabrication and assembly. In many cases, components of the structure are prefabricated onshore and then transported to the construction site. This approach minimizes the time spent in the underwater environment and reduces construction complexities. The fifth step involves diving and submersible construction. Construction workers, often specialized divers or operators of submersibles, carry out the assembly and installation of components underwater. They use specialized equipment and follow safety protocols to ensure their well-being during underwater construction tasks. The sixth step is welding and joining. Welding is a common method used to join underwater structural elements. Divers may use welding techniques suited for underwater conditions, and special precautions are taken to ensure the quality and integrity of the welds. The seventh step involves the placement of concrete. For structures that involve concrete, specialized techniques are employed for placing and curing underwater concrete. Methods include tremai pouring, where concrete is placed through a submerged pipe or using precast concrete elements. The eighth step is inspecting and maintaining. Regular inspections are crucial to assess the condition of underwater structures and address any maintenance needs promptly. Divers or remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, may be employed for inspection tasks. The ninth step is environmental considerations. Construction in marine environments requires careful consideration of the impact on the ecosystem. Measures are taken to minimize disturbance to marine life and environmental regulations are followed. The final step is safety measures. Safety is a top priority in underwater construction. Divers and construction teams undergo extensive training and strict safety protocols are followed to mitigate risks associated with working in the underwater environment. Examples of underwater structures include offshore oil platforms, underwater pipelines, bridges, tunnels, and marine research facilities. Each project presents its own set of challenges, and engineers must adapt construction methods to suit the specific conditions of the underwater environment. In summary, building underwater structures involves a complex process, from initial site surveys and feasibility studies, through to the preparation of foundations, material selection, prefabrication, assembly, welding, concrete placement, inspections, environmental considerations, and safety measures. If you found this video informative and interesting, do consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel for more insightful content. Thank you for watching.